Hey guys, we are in the basement at today, yesterday guys, on this episode of John's Arcade. Well guys, we're gonna be doing something kind of fun, actually something light. We're gonna be checking out this thing right here. Now what is this? <laughs> This is a replicate, a centipede replicate, okay? It's a one six scale, that's right, one six scale, like almost one to one miniature centipede arcade cabinet, okay? It's made by New Wave Toys. This actually was a Kickstarter that I backed, okay? I, I backed this thing. They haven't shipped the Kickstarter yet, but the company contacted me wanting me to do a review and I said, well, hey, I already backed your Kickstarter, can I give it away? And so we're gonna be giving away this one, and I'll be getting mine from the Kickstarter later. Anyway, if you guys wanna win this, go to johnsarcade.com to enter. Anyway, this thing got me excited, I'm, I'm gonna tell you why. Because when I was a kid, okay, in the 80s, this is what our replicates would look like, okay? This was, this was a Donkey Kong Jr. I had this when I was a kid, this is not the exact one I had, actually a viewer sent me this. But this is kind of like what these little handheld arcade games looked like back in the day. Now this one is actually pretty badass. It's a Coleco one actually made by Nintendo. But still, look at it. It doesn't look anything like the Donkey Kong Jr., right? And the gameplay is nothing like Donkey Kong Jr., not even close, right? So when I heard about this replicate thing and just how exact it is to the full-size dedicated cabinet, I'm like, you know what, I'm back in this thing. And, and so anyway, we have one here. This is the one we're gonna give away. I'll be getting mine later. But anyway, let's check it out. And also, I wanna compare this to the full size upright. We'll do that in a minute here. And also check out the gameplay as compared to the original. But let's see what's inside the box here, okay? Now, I did, I did open this already so I could charge it for the video. Uh, so I have seen it, but <laughs> we'll, we'll experience what I experienced again here. So when I opened this thing up initially, I was kind of like, wow. <laughs> Like, like that, that's a centipede, right? And it's a really good size, honestly. It's, it's big. And by the way, we should mention though, this thing costs $160. It's not cheap at all, okay? But I could tell a lot of love was put into this thing, but the cost is kind of crazy talk. So it's a very expensive toy or desk decoration, but they did a pretty good job here making it look and feel like the original centipede, you know? And we could take this off here. But, I mean, look at that. That's Centipede, right? And we can power it on right now. So we can hold this button up here. And then it powers on. So there's some kind of a little LCD display in there. Um, I have no idea what kind of emulation they're doing. But you know what I thought would be kind of cool right now? Why don't we, let's go to the Hangar Pub and Grill because uh, I have a dedicated full-size centipede there. My buddy Jay and I put some games in a bar in Amherst, Mass. So why don't we go to the Hangar Pub and Grill in Amherst, Mass and let's, let's quickly kind of compare this thing to an original dedicated centipede. Did they do a good job? Did they, did they really do this one-to-one? -one? All right, guys, let's, let's, let's hit the road real quick. Driving late at night I swear I saw you in the passenger seat We always used to be Am I going crazy? Alright guys, we're at the Hangar Pub and Grill in Amherst, Mass. And uh, so yeah, here's our little centipede <laughs> next to a real centipede. Now let's kind of compare this because I think they did a pretty good job here with the details. Um, so let's kind of look at the control panel first, right? So here's the control panel on the replicate, okay? You can see they have the fire button there and it's just above that little pattern there just like the real one. So it's like spot on, like the button placement. Obviously the trackball's right here and this is like a real trackball, which is pretty amazing. Here's our original trackball. Now this is pretty cool, the cone buttons, okay? See how they're kind of lit up? Let me turn the light off, right? So they put little cone buttons on here. Uh, they're lit up for one or two players. Now the real cone, bu cone buttons right here only light when it's coined up. So if I were to coin up the centipede here, if I put one in, you can see player one blinks, okay? If we put another coin in, now we have player one and player two blinking. So they kind of replicated that. Now the artwork on the bezel, 
is interesting here. It's not quite the same. So you can see that this monitor, this little screen they put in here, is actually taller, like, like scale-wise, compared to the rest of the game. So you don't have the artwork that's on the bottom and the top of the bezel. Like, see here? So we don't have this artwork, and we don't have the artwork that's on the top right here. Instead, what they did is they moved this information to the left right here, if you guys can see that. And then this information right here is right here on the original. Now, the, the marquee seems to be spot on, right? Side art, spot on. So right here, the coin door is actually metal, right? How cool is that? So this is die cast metal, just like the original coin door, okay? And then the coin slots light up right there. See that? So they're lit up. And then here is this little sticker. It says, with the Atari logo, one coin equals one play. That's an actual sticker that came with like the goodie bag with the game, like with the manual. There was all these like stickers where you could say how many coins the game took. So that is completely a legit sticker on there. And the coin door actually opens up, which is like beyond awesome. <laughs> so, so they really, they really put a lot of thought into this. I mean, it's pretty much spot on, guys. Very cool. So we should play the game. Why don't we go back down to the basement and see how it plays? So, you know what? The cabinet, they did a pretty good job, honestly, right? It, it really is almost one-to-one. -one. I know that they kind of had to work around the size of the LCD screen, which, which is kind of why the bezel is the way it is. But other than that, this thing visually is pretty much spot on. Also, one other little detail on the back here I noticed is, so they put a little lock on the back door and a, a little kind of a security thing that an operator would have put on. Just a, a nice little detail. I could tell that whoever made this thing kind of made it with love, honestly. Um, but you know, on the, on the original arcade thing though, the door probably would have been more up here, <laughs> not down here. But hey, it, that's nitpicky, I know. But you can see the speakers right here, the charge port is there. Uh, there's a volume right here, and this is our power button. So anyway, so that's the cabinet, you know. Again, I think they did a bang up job with the cabinet, but how is the gameplay? I thought we can go upstairs, because I, upstairs I have a, a, a dedicated cabaret, okay? An original 80s, you know, Atari centipede cabinet. Why don't we go upstairs and, and just check out the gameplay and just compare it to the original? Okay, so let's check out the gameplay on this thing, and we're gonna compare it to my original dedicated Atari centipede cabaret cabinet, yes, Cabaret. Now, cabarets were kind of smaller cabinets. They have wood grain on the sides. They were kind of designed to kind of blend into more adult places like bars and stuff. But the hardware, the PCB, the monitor, the controls, everything is one to one, exactly the same as the full size dedicated one we just checked out at the hangar. So, all right, why don't we just kind of give this a go? Let's play our little mini centipede here and let's see how the gameplay is. I'm excited actually to try out that trackball. Is it, is it any good? <laughs> so let's turn the light off, okay? And we're gonna just kind of get in here and do it. Now we already have like 17 credits on here, apparently from me pushing this button and it, it seems to be saving the credits by the way, uh, if you turn it off and turn it back on. So, all right, let's give it a go here. Let's kind of get the camera as close as we can. All right, you ready? Okay, so the trackball feels pretty good. You know, everything's very small though as compared to the original. So you kind of got to really focus and line things up. But so far, yes, this is Centipede. It sounds like it, it feels like it. Now, because the screen is so small, it's very hard to kind of see the, the shot coming out of the, the, uh, my player. Now that we've passed the level though, the little bullet thing has turned into like a light blue color. It's a little easier to focus on. So you really gotta focus though to line up the shot just cause everything is so small. <laughs> but that trackball feels like a trackball. And yes, you can hold down the fire button and it auto fires. I gotta say, they did a pretty good job with this trackball. 
It is kind of hard to line it up, but I'm starting to kind of get the feel of it. Oh, I died, the darn spider. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm playing centipede. That's, that's what's happening here. <laughs> this is what it feels like. It's what it sounds like. Obviously, you know, this is emulation using the original arcade ROM. I don't know if there's some kind of a MAME something on this board that's in here. I'm actually doing kind of okay here. I don't know if we're going to get on the leaderboard. It does save scores. Ah, oh, the flea got me. Hey, that was pretty good, man. <laughs> it felt like centipede. You guys want to see how the original one plays? We can kind of compare it, you know, sound-wise and, and gameplay-wise here. So let's 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 play on my dedicated here. Let me set up the tripod. And you guys can kind of hear what a real one sounds like. All right, so let's start a game. Now, obviously, right away, this feels 50 times better than the little one because <laughs> I'm using a trackball that is, you know, the size of a cue ball. Um, and I could see things much clearer because everything is like 10 times the size. But you can see the sounds, gameplay, everything that we experienced on the little guy are exactly the same here. It's just that this is a lot easier to play. I'm super impressed that they actually made a trackball that small that actually works. <laughs> the only thing is, is everything is so small, it's just hard to kind of line up your guy to shoot. And because the, you know, the original centipede graphics were such that the little bullets are just these little tiny lines, it was kind of hard to focus on that on the little screen. Especially when it was red. There wasn't a lot of contrast. But yeah, you have way more control. It's way more fluid at the original. Oh, let's get that guy. It's like the scorpion. He's worth a thousand points. He's got a free life. All right, we don't have to keep playing this. <laughs> I have plenty of centipede gameplay videos on the channel. So, all right, so that was the gameplay on the Replicade. I, you know, it, it's, it's the game, you know? It's just everything smaller, and obviously there's compromises with that, but they delivered what they said they were gonna deliver. It's one-to-one -one centipede. It's clearly playing the arcade ROM. So why don't we go back in the basement? Let's check out what else this thing can do and what's inside the box. All right, so uh, the gameplay, you know, it, it's centipede, guys. It's centipede, you know? It, we have that little trackball. You know, it, it definitely works, you know, but, you know, it, to be really precise with Centipede, it's kind of tough because everything's so tiny, but it is pretty amazing they got that stuff to work. So I thought we can kind of see what else is in this box here because we haven't even looked. So let's take a peek inside this little goodie bag that came with it. And so we have a manual and let's see what this talks about here. So light up marquee. Yeah, and yeah, the marquee does light up if you guys haven't, if we haven't called that out yet, so. Looks pretty cool, right? It honestly does look pretty badass, <laughs> I have to say. But is it $160 badass? I don't know, that's for you to decide. Uh, so the manual here talks about, you know, fire button, track ball, add credit button, menu pause button, stash box handle, I guess that's a coin box. Um, so charging, so I did charge this uh, before the video. I basically just plugged my phone charger into the back of it. It took about an hour to do that. Um, so yeah, it doesn't take any kind of batteries, so it charges on its own, which is pretty nice, really. Um, it says, press the menu pause button. Oh, this is a pause button? Oh, so the right coin mech 
is a pause button and also gets you into the menu. Interesting. So when you're in the menu here, so we have a backlight option. You can turn the marquee light on and off. And then you can adjust the trackball sensitivity. That's interesting. I wonder if I put it on low, would that be better or worse? So how do we advance this? Okay, with that. So how do we change? Okay, so I have it on low right now. I don't know if that's better or worse. We should play a game with low. How do I get out of here? All right. So now that the, the trackball is set on low, why don't we try a game here with that? I'm just curious to see how, if it feels it. No, that's too slow. So if I do press this, so there is a pause function, which brings up this menu. And then to get out of it, we advance. With Come on, how do you get out of this? Okay, all right, so that, so when you pause it, and by the way, it does auto fire if you hold the button down, but it's, you know, from this angle where I am right now, I'm kind of to the side, it's really hard to see the, the fire shot. So let's go back into the menu. I think low is the wrong setting for that. Probably ultimately medium is gonna be the better one. All right, how do you select this? There. Let's try high. Yeah, high is a little too jerky. Yeah, I think the default setting, the middle one. Although I, I could probably get used to this though. Yeah, I think medium ultimately is going to be the best setting for this. If I can ever remember how to do this. All right, so medium. There. I'm wondering if, if this thing is running some flavor of Android. Uh, I'm not going to open this up because I want to give it away. Um, I don't know. It, it kind of feels like Android. It smells like Android. I, I, I don't know. From like the way it charges to this screen, maybe I'm completely wrong. I'm sure that someone's gonna figure out how to hack this thing too, don't you think? Um, wouldn't it be cool if you could add millipede to this? <laughs> you know, my uh, my centipede upstairs actually has uh, centipede and millipede in one cabinet, and that'd be pretty cool to hack this somehow. You know, with the USB, anything's possible. Get out of here. All right, so we're back in the game. Let's clear this level. Let's try another game. I want to clear the level and see what the second level is all about. I mean, I see nothing to believe that this isn't 100% uh, the arcade ROM. You know, this is officially licensed by Atari. All right, we just cleared it. You can see the colors change. Definitely the medium setting. I'm, I'm definitely getting more used to this trackball, by the way. It feels pretty good. I'm super impressed they got the trackball to work. Like I said, you know, when I was a kid, I had those crappy Coleco games, and they were just horrible. <laughs> I mean, this is what I wanted when I was a kid. I wanted the one-to-one -one arcade game, just smaller in, 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 in my bedroom, you know? But yeah, that's the game. So let, let's keep going through the goodie bag and see what else is in there. So we got the, the little manual here, talks about the menu, the, the backlight, you can turn the marquee light on and off, change the um, trackball uh, sensitivity settings, there's a volume on the back. Let's see. And then in other languages there. So it does come with a USB cable that you can plug into your uh, phone charger or your computer to charge it. Now, this is kind of interesting here. Look at this. 
I mean, the attention to detail is kind of spot on, honestly. The fact that the metal coin door kind of blew my mind that they, they did a die cast coin door, a working trackball, the, the, the Tari cone lights, the attention to detail is pretty tight. Now, I'm wondering though, if we put these coins in, does it add a credit if we put it through the slot? Because right now, all, all I have to do is just press this button. You see right here it says credit 16. I can just press that and now it says credit 17. Now I'm curious if you drop these little plastic quarters in or tokens, if it'll actually coin it up. I mean, they did not have to include this. <laughs> I mean, these are microscopic little quarters. Are they one six scale? Oh my God. All right. So here's these little quarters. Are they metal or plastic? Can't tell, I think they're metal. So let's see if I put it in here, what happens. <laughs> it's cute, all right. Oh, it doesn't go in. Oh, that's a bummer. So you can't put the quarters in. That slot doesn't go all the way through. <laughs> Boy, that would have been cool because you can open the coin door and there's a, a kind of a pseudo coin bucket down here. <laughs> so what do you do with the quarters? You could put them in the coin return. I don't know. It, it's funny they included them. It's too bad they don't actually go into the coin door, through the coin door, into the coin bucket. So, all right, guys, that's the replicate. What do you think, huh? Do you, do you like it? Is it worth $160? <laughs> I, I have no idea. You know, that's up for you to decide. I mean, it's definitely a lot of money, but I could tell that a lot of love went into making this thing, honestly. You know, someone like me who's really into arcade games, I think is behind this, you know, because it's very close to exact. You know, the only thing that's really kind of off is the, the, the screen size in relation to the cabinet, but they kind of had to do that to make it bigger so you could really see it. And as a result, they had to change the artwork on the bezel. And of course, they're, they're, they have more of these coming out. Uh, so this one's coming out like September 19th. You can get it on Amazon right now. And then they have a, a, a Tempest that comes out in December and then also a Street Fighter. And the Street Fighter I saw has like an extra little controller for two players. So maybe we'll be talking about those. But for now, here's the Replicate Centipede. Centipede. If you guys want to win this, by the way, go to johnsarcade.com and enter the giveaway. Just go to John's Ar johnsarcade.com. And then other than that, that's going to do it for this video. And yeah, you know what? This really is cool. Because like I said, when I was a kid, we had those dopey Coleco cabinets. <laughs> this is what I really wanted. So anyway, that's it, guys. We're done. Be sure to subscribe and comment and all the good stuff. If you have uh, questions or comments for the show, send them to john at johnsarcade.com. That's john at johnsarcade.com. And of course, don't forget to check out my podcast, Video Game Outsiders, at videogameoutsiders.com. We do that show every week on Tuesdays at videogameoutsiders.com. And of course, anytime during the week, you can listen to our shows for free on our app. Go to iOS, the iOS store, or Android, Google Play Store, search for Video Game Outsiders, download the app and listen. There's also bonus content we do about five, six extra podcasts a week for two bucks a month. You get all that bonus stuff too. So anyway, that's it guys. I'm done. Subscribe, comment, like, all that good stuff. I'll see you very soon. Later and bye.